Hi everyone, my name is Jessa Astrid and you're watching my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit more sweet and simple because I'm just going to be reviewing some ColourPop blush palettes. They launched these a little bit ago, so I thought I'd sit down and test them out for you guys today. So if you are curious to see how these ColourPop blush and highlight palettes perform, or you just want to hang out with me, then just keep watching. Also, my canker sore is still there, but I got a bunch of numbing gel and I've been like numbing it every two minutes, so it doesn't hurt as bad. But now my top lip is numb and I'm a mess, so goodbye. <laughs> So as you can tell by today's video, we are going to be going over a couple little blush palettes by ColourPop. They launched these not too long ago and I honestly completely forgot that I had them. So I'm sitting down today to finish getting ready and I'm going to try them out for you. My canker sore is still there but I put a whole lot of numbing gel on it and so hopefully I can get through today's video because last time was torture. Anyways. So they launched five brand new palettes and they only sent me two to try out so those are the two palettes that I'm going to be testing out and showing you in today's video. But if you're interested in seeing all the shades, that's just too dang bad. <laughs> it's too dang bad, I'm sorry, but that's, that's all I got for you. Okay, so they launched five new palettes. They are Sugar Frosted, Extra Glazed, Cookie Cluster, Tea Cakes, and Sweet Roll. And the two that I have today are Extra Glazed and Sugar Frosted. I'm putting more numbing gel on because it's already hurting again as I was saying so they launched a five new palettes they sent me two to try out so these are the two that I'm going to be swatching and reviewing for you today I don't have any blush on so it is time to test these out so this is what the palettes look like it comes in this brand new acrylic packaging that Colourpop launched which I think is super stunning the back uh, sticker is on sideways <laughs> but that's okay we'll get past that this one is the shade not the shade this is the palette sugar frosted this is more of a like brownish pinkish palette and I really like these type of shades on me so I'm glad that they sent me this one and this is the other one that they sent me this one is extra glazed and this one's more of a kind of baby pink palette and the sticker is on correctly on this one when I first used this palette this shade here in person looks a lot more brown um, I've only worn this one time to test it out but this shade in person I on camera, it's gonna make me look stupid, but in person, it looks pretty brown, like a bronzer type shade. And so, like, I started putting that in the, the hollows of my cheeks, and I was like, that's not gonna work. <laughs> but I just put a little bit, so it's okay. So, each of these palettes retails for $12, which is not bad considering there's four shades and a highlighter. The highlighter shade in here is a Super Shock Shadow. Shadow? Highlighter. You get what I'm trying to say. The highlighter in each of these palettes is a super shock highlighter, so it is their classic, amazing, buttery highlighters. And I think that is super cool. It's not just like a normal powder highlighter, if you know what I mean. For today's look, I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of the more neutral blush tones and some pink blush tones, I think, just to try to see the type of shade that I want today. Also, by the way, I use the Huda Booty. Huda Booty. <laughs> I use the Huda Beauty blurring foundation stick thing that she came out with recently and I really like it. I think my skin looks really like natural and smooth. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I got it a, a super long time ago and I never did a review on it, but if you're interested in seeing that, let me know even though it's been a hot minute. I will still sit down and do a review. I've worn it quite a few times now and every single time I really like it, so let me know. As usual, before applying these gorgeous palettes to my face, I'm going to do some swatches of both of the palettes so you can kind of see the shades on a skin tone up close. So let's get into that. This numbing stuff is numbing my top lip too. So I'm going to start talking because of that. <sighs> so starting on the palette Extra Glazed, this is what it looks like in the pan. Each palette comes with two matte blush shades and one satin finish blush shade. And then obviously the Super Shock Highlighter. So this is the Super Shock Shadow. As you can see, it is like a soft, squishy, jelly type material. If you use any Super Shock Shadow or highlighter from ColourPop, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But I think that's really cool that they included it in an actual palette instead of just individual. So I'm sure you already know that these colors are not gonna be super vibrant or pigmented. These are not eyeshadows, they're blushes and highlighters. So just keep that in mind with the swatches. It's more just so you can see the shade on the skin tone. So starting off on the very top left, this is Smoke and Whistles. This is the Super Shock Shadow. I keep saying shadow, but I'm sure you know that I'm talking about the highlighter. So this is the shade here. This is a very nice golden pinky shade. Next, moving on to the shade to the right of that, it is called Pink Velvet. 
This is the satin finish blush in the palette. They are not sparkly or shiny at all, but they do have a kind of shimmery finish, just an FYI. So like I said, these are not going to be super pigmented on swatches, but it's just more so you can see the shade on my skin tone. Moving on to the shade Swirled, this is a matte blush. This is the bottom left hand shade. The shade, the shade before this seemed a little bit more baby pink and this one seems a little bit more rosy pink. And the last shade in the palette is Strawberry Streusel. This is the one that I thought was a bronzer at first because in person it looks really brown. But as you can see on the video, it is much more rosy toned. It's just the darkest one. So I really like how this palette has a good range of tones. So it has a super light shade and it also has a darker shade. And now moving on to the next palette, we have Sugar Frosted. This is the more neutral, brownish type of tones. It is definitely still like a blush tone, but it is not as baby pink as the last palette. The highlighter shade in the palette is also a Super Shock highlighter. I'm pretty sure all of them have that because that is what it says on the description card. So I'm going to swatch these below these so you can see the comparison, but starting at the top left hand corner, we have the highlighter shade. This one is called Jelly Roll. This shade in the palette is a lot more rose gold than the other palette. As you can see here, you can see in the light. Next we have the satin blush shade called Hay Pudding. This one seems a lot more shimmery than the last satin shade in the palette. This one, you can't really tell that it's satin at all, but this one is like pretty shimmery has like a golden undertone. Then we have the matte blush shade, which is called Trifle. Right off the bat, I can tell you that this palette is not nearly as pigmented as the last palette. As you can see here, even this baby pink shade showed up quite a bit. And these two shades you can hardly see. And I don't think it's just the tone, like when I'm looking up close, it's not as pigmented either. So just keep that in mind. And I'm layering it quite a bit and it's not building up at all. And then for the very last shade in the palette, which is the bottom right, we have Cookie Crumble. This is also a matte blush shade. So this shade is showing up a little bit better, but still it's not as pigmented as the palette beforehand. But these are the two palettes next to each other. Both are very pretty. I wish the bottom palette was a little bit more pigmented, just so you don't have to layer as much product down, but still pretty regardless. If you hear howling in the background, I am dog sitting currently and he is being very dramatic right now. He howls when he doesn't get attention, so just ignore that. <laughs> so now to apply some blush finally. This is a much more simple and quick video than my normal video, so it's actually kind of nice. But anyways, these two palettes, after doing the swatches, I think I'm going to go with the more pinky shades. This one is the Extra Glaze palette, because this one just seems a little bit too neutral and it didn't show up as much on my swatches, so I think I want to do this one just so you can see the shades on my skin tone, and I want it to actually show up, so let's do that. So I'm cleaning off my brush that I usually use for blush, so that so there's not any leftover blush that will be applying to my cheeks, because I just want it to be the ColourPop ones, and the brush is pretty clean. So if you've watched my videos before, you know that I like despise a shiny blush. I only like very matte blush because with my skin type and texture, I just like to keep my cheeks pretty matte. Um, shininess kind of accentuates texture and pores and things like that, and that's just not my jam. So that is what I'm going to use today. I'm going to go for this bottom left-hand shade in the palette. This one is called Swirled. It's always confusing going on the back. Yeah, this one is called Swirled, so that's the one I'm going to use today. This is the satin shade here, and it's just like if you see it in the light, it's catching the light a little bit. So let's apply a little bit there. My one thing about these palettes, though, is that since they are pretty small, like it's hard to just get the blush that you want to. I'm trying not to pick up any other color in the palette, but I guess you just have to be careful. Just tapping off the excess, and let's apply this to my cheeks. I used to hate blush when I was younger. I feel like everybody did and nobody wore it. But now it's like one of my favorite things. It just like makes you look so youthful. Does that just mean I'm old? <laughs> oh god, anyways. So this is the blush shade so far. I think it's really pretty. It's a little bit pinker than I'm used to, but compared to the before and after, I think it adds a nice color to my cheeks. They are pretty sheer, so I'm not that afraid of adding too much. But they are buildable. 
very smooth, not messing up my foundation underneath, not patchy at all. These are like all the checklist marks for a blush. A little bit on my nose. So yeah, it's definitely a little bit more pink than I'm used to, but I don't hate it. Let's get lipstick on my chin. So I'm gonna... This is how the blush is looking so far. I think it looks really pretty actually. Whenever I like start applying blush, I just want to like apply it everywhere. Which is funny because I'm always trying to cover up my redness when doing my foundation. But that's what we do with makeup. So now moving on to highlighter. I think I'm going to go into the same palette Extra Glazed and use this highlighter shade. The other one just seems a little bit too golden and I'm not that tan right now. So that's what I'm going to use today. Did you hear that? <laughs> that was the dog. <laughs> For applying my highlighter, I'm going in with this little Real Technique. Real Techniques brush. This is their... <laughs> He's so dramatic. He's crying because he wants attention. <sighs> I'm gonna give him lots of pets after this, but he needs to be patient. Anyways, to apply my highlighter, I'm using this Real Techniques brush. This is their medium shadow brush. Well, I'm using it for highlighter because I like it to be nice and tiny so I can apply directly where I want it to be shiny. That rhymed. <laughs> Just dipping into this highlighter a little bit. I don't know how much it's picking up because it's a super shock shadow. So let's just see. I'm just gonna put this at the high points of my cheekbone. Oh, that's pretty. Can you see that on camera? Oh, bam. Applying a little bit on my brow bone. Bam. Look at how shiny that is compared to before. And then I'm just applying a little bit on my nose with a little tiny brush. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's like a little tiny like lower lash line brush. What the heck is this? It's a little tiny brush. You get what I'm saying, okay? And I'm, oh this really indents the pan. Can you tell? I'm applying just a tiny bit on my cupid's bow. And then my nose. I do like a little oval at the tip of my nose and then a little line. So this is how the blush and highlighter look together. I think they are so pretty. I really, really like the shade of the highlighter. I think it matches my skin tone pretty well. What do we think? Let me finish up the rest of my makeup and I will be right back to tell you my final thoughts as usual. Okay, I finished my makeup and I went with a natural glam type moment. All my makeup looks are natural if I don't wear falsies. <laughs> I really, really like this blush. I definitely like the Extra Glaze better than this one. This one's just a little bit too nude for my skin tone. But this one is super pretty. It's a little bit more pink than I'm used to. But I actually kind of like the pink that I'm not used to. <laughs> I really like the formula. The shades are super smooth and velvety and creamy. And they're not blotchy or dry looking at all. And I really, really like that. They look very skin-like and just give you a nice flush of color. Also, like I said, I really like how they included a Super Shock highlighter in the palette as well. They usually, from what I know, don't actually put those in palettes. Because before, back in the day when they came out with the Super Shock shadows and highlighters, you had to have them in the individual containers because you had to like seal them really good so they don't dry out. But this one is not sealed, obviously, so they must have done something to the formula and I really, really like it. Really, really nice. So yes, that is the end of today's video. It was a lot more short, sweet, and simple, and I kind of like that. Let me know down below if you like these kind of shorter, simpler videos, or if you prefer my longer videos. I'm just curious to know what you guys like better. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to follow me on all my other social medias. It is Jessa Marie Astrid on Instagram and Jessa Astrid on TikTok and Snapchat and Twitter basically everywhere else. You can also text me at my personal number. I will put it here. It is 323-208-0782. I almost just forgot it. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you very soon.